Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Thank you so much for joining us. We're back in the workshop. Now last week, we got the pedal car, the awesome pedal car, on its wheels and it's looking good. And in this episode, we're gonna move over to the other end of the workshop and hopefully take the caddy for its MOT. It's a nerve wracking day, for sure. Uh, but before that, I just wanna say a very big thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring today's video. Without people like Surfshark, I wouldn't be able to make these videos. So a big thank you to them. This caddy has been more work than I first expected. Brother Dan has come up and helped me with all the electrics. John has come up and helped me with all the mechanical stuff in the engine. I have spent far too long on rust repair that I didn't expect to be doing. But I think after all of that work, I think we're there. We are ready to at least take it for its MOT and see how it gets on. I'm gonna start trying to put the interior back in, get the seats bolted in, Got to put the radio back in place. There's a few bits to do. Fingers crossed. It's a big day. Oh, up with gifts. Hey, hello, bud. How are you doing? All right. If I got it is officially Christmas, Dom. It's November. Mean spies. Oh. Size of them. Well, we have to earn them first. I think we've earned them. Right. I'll get the kettle on, but we're going to have to wait for the mince pies because it's MOT day. What? For the caddy. No. But we just need to tie up a few loose ends. Well, that, that could be a problem. That's a loose end. <laughs> What's wrong? Well, that was working last week. <laughs> there you go. Oh, John, that was working last week. <laughs> and then we just need to throw the interior back in. I was just in the process of doing that. Well, we definitely need to put that back. You're not going anywhere like that, are you? First thing on the list is to get all the interior back in. First job of the day, some hoovering. What have you got, Wendy? What have you got? Ah, well done, Wendy. You reminded me. I need to tell everybody about today's video sponsor. Surfshark. I am sure that most of you by now will have heard of Surfshark or at least know what a VPN is. In case you don't know, VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. I literally use it every week and there are two main benefits that I want to tell you about. A VPN changes the real location of your device and swaps it for a new one by changing the IP address, meaning that you can access location specific content such as TV channels or shopping opportunities. And number two, Surfshark VPN keeps your online identity safe by encrypting all of your information sent between your device and the internet. This keeps your personal data protected from big companies or cyber criminals. This is great for me because as you know, I spend a lot of time away from home in hotels using their public Wi-Fi to browse the internet and send files like these videos to Camera Dan. There are a couple of really nice new features also included in Surfshark's clean web feature, which blocks ads, cookie pop-ups, trackers, malware, and phishing attempts. And finally, it also provides website safety warnings, a new free feature which lets you know if the website has had any previous breaches. Another useful device is you can search the internet without your browsing history affecting your results. This is great if I want a true search result whilst I'm searching for something obscure. And trust me, my search history is quite obscure. I really can't recommend enough using a VPN and the lovely team at Surfshark have got an offer for you, especially for Black Friday and the holidays. Go to surfshark.com forward slash Dom C for an extra four months of Surfshark at an unbeatable price. I will put the link in the description below the video. Make sure you check them out. If you try out Surfshark and realize maybe it's not for you, don't worry, there is a 30 day money back guarantee. So you really have nothing to lose. Great, <laughs> great. Glad we cleaned it. <laughs> Very helpful, Wendy. Thank you. I'm not sure it's liking the temperature. I don't think what that might be. 
John, your odd gloves are making me quite stressed. <laughs> Seatbelt hole lining up. That's a good point. Before you come in. <laughs> that's, a good, that's a very good point. <laughs> Let's start with that, shall we? Look how rust free it is. You must be impressed. The rust is free. You must be slightly impressed. I'm over the moon, Dom. There was some kind of nylon washer or something in there, John. I've still got it, mate. Have you? Don't okay. panic. Don't fear. These, these moments are always very exciting because I took it apart <laughs> and now I'm filming John put it back together and John's going in completely blind with no clue how I took it apart, where the washers are, where the little nylon shims are or anything. It's not my first rodeo, Dom. We'll be I feel right. like it's not the first seatbelt you've installed, yeah? It's not, no. One nylon on either side because that's raised up so it can rotate. Bit of grease? Do you want some grease? No, no. I'm, I'm... Okay. Lovely. Seatbelt installed. One seatbelt, one bit of side trim. This kind of speaks for itself. That should be. Yeah. Boom, boom. Factory. Nice. Simples. Like a golf. And just like that, that is a piece of carpet and the plastic trim installed on the driver's side. Now we need to do the same again on the other side. And John is already around there. No, I'm on the driver's side. What have I just said? The driver's side. I've done the driver's side. No, we haven't done the driver's side. That's the passenger This is side. the passenger side. <laughs> well, that's a big lump, isn't it? I haven't put, um, someone will comment John, so we may as well discuss it. I haven't put any tarboard or like the dynamat or sound insulation under there. Oh, did you take it all off then? It had like it's horrible not... thick foam spongy water soaking up stuff. I'm sure we'll get told off for not putting the sound deadening in there. But I kind of like it like this. You can mop up the water when the windows leak. Clean hem pick. I may well regret not putting the dynamat or the sort of under, under uh, the sound deadening in, but I guess we could always pop, pop the seats out and put it in at a later date. If anyone's got any advice, anyone's used anything like dynamat or can recommend anything else that we should do, let us know. Because when I took this all apart, I did take out like a inch thick sort of horrible disintegrated foam that I guess was the factory stuff that had soaked up with water and gone mouldy and horrible. So at the moment it's just the bare steel than the rubber mats, which I've got a feeling it's going to be quite loud, but we'll just turn the radio up. Nice, look, fresh new carpets. Fresh new carpets. <laughs> Nothing like a nice new interior. I was fresh quite a while ago. Hey? Hey? She's a beauty. Once it's gone, it's gone. Yeah, once it's original paint, we're keeping original original carpet means just as much to us. <laughs> it inspiring you to get your own golf, John? Uh, no. No, absolutely no. not. No, <laughs> You're not feeling inspired? I like Mark 1 golfs, um, but this is a caddy. This is not a golf. Yeah. So I'm not in the market for one. Doesn't want one. Not today. Not today, maybe tomorrow, maybe someday. Okay, we've got some work to do still. <laughs> Beauty. Factory. I think you've handed it to me upside down. Yeah, that was on purpose. Okay. Over the handbrake. Over the handbrake. Look at that. Seat runners attack. Perfect. It's like lots of room, Dom. Suddenly it looks more spacious in here, doesn't it? Was there a handbrake cover? I would have thought so. Did you I lose it? it? Let me check the pile. I have a look at the pile. This is when I start worrying because I took this thing apart, but lost half the components because it's been so busy. The workshop has moved around about four times since uh, taking this caddy apart. But Got the handbrake cover. Ah! Yes. There it is. I found it. 
That's beautiful, Dom. Oh, I thought it was going to slide on. It's split. <laughs> Tricky, eh? This is too easy yeah. until we realise the handbrake doesn't work and we have to take all of this off again. Yeah, you've tried that though, haven't you? I've tested. You no, I haven't tested the handbrake. What do you mean? Huh? You haven't tested it. I haven't tested the handbrake. You've had all the wheels off? Yeah, but I haven't tested the handbrake. Didn't, didn't look at the brakes while you had it all off? No. No. We'll pull it and see. Just because it goes up doesn't mean it's going to. It's feel alright, but that's not, it's not really definitive, is it? No, okay. Oh dear. This MOT is uh, starting to be a bit questionable. I'm still hopeful we'll make it today, but let's let's see how we go. Um, the front rubber's next, John. Send it in. That will help. Okay, that's good. We are the right way up this time. But Just we, the wrong way around. We were. Well, it won't be right if we weren't doing it back in front, would it? It's, everything's a bit... What? Cold. Yeah, it is almost snowing outside, isn't it? We're That's in the middle of a storm. I mean... Um, yeah, I'm not sure how long we're going to get out of these, mate. Because, Why? Because they're a bit... They're brittle. Raw, but no, they're just... Humpy, bumpy, lumpy, it's horrible, isn't it? It's not going to be very nice underfoot. Oh. Maybe that's why it had the big foam insulation there. Yeah, just to level it all off and give it a bit of depth, look. But it looks nice though. Yeah, it just it pops in. You can just peel it up and, yeah. and pop them in. Mop up all the water that leaks in. Gator for the gear stick, do you want to commit and do all of that? Or is that are you going in there to have a rummage? No, no, I think we should get all that in. Not for sharing. I heard what have you got? Not for sharing. What is it, Wendy? Oh, Wendy? Is. What is that? Is that part of the caddy? Oh, don't tell me she's eating part of it. She's caddy. eating something, John. <laughs> MOT day is slipping away. What's happening now, John? It just keeps finding problems. No. Yes. Tom's got this super duper drifting steering wheel. Which came with it, to be fair. It did come with it. Just doesn't really lend itself. It's quick release. It is quick release. That's a safety, but scary too. The problem is, Tom's got all the horn work in and run it through. Unfortunately, the horn push doesn't fit in our steering wheel. Because of the quick release mechanism. So, for now, off with all this, back on with a standard wheel. Oh, boring. Oh, yeah. I should have hit it better. The, the caddy <laughs> the caddy came with the original wheel and I hung it on the wall. Try to find a solution, put in a button somewhere, and then John found the original wheel, annoyingly. So, here's one. John's getting his own way, again. Here we go. Quick release. <sighs> yes, oh, look at that. Oh, it did have the self-cancelling ring on it, Dom. Yeah, well, you take that back. Well, you can have it back. Just not today. Fine. Now, try to straighten it up. We'll have to start there and adjust as necessary, but somewhere in the ballpark. Pat has even marked it up for us. Yeah, this one got to be very positive about, and this one be dumb, very, very negative. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Is it going to work? <laughs> oh, brilliant! Oh, yeah. Horn drama solved. Perfect. Can we put the seats in now, John? Specialist white lithium grease. Just the job. Long-lasting protection against rust and corrosion for use on metal and metal collections. Happy? Yeah, that would give it a go. Can possibly go wrong. 
Look at that. <laughs> With the handy uh, this straw nozzle. Oh. Holy moly. Yeah, she's keen. Can you pull that out for me? Jesus, don't want to go that mad. Oh, Whoa, my God. Holy. Oh, oh, my God. <laughs> Scratch it. Ah. Oh, Ronnie, make it look easy. Ah, Jesus. There's massive steering wheels in the way. Oh, get off. Don't scratch the seal. You see that? Oh, wow. There you go. I think you've made it. Now it's my wall. That's not easy. Don't pull it out. I need to pull the plugs around a little bit, Johnny. Here we go. Oh, no, it's out. <laughs> it's in. Oh, it's no. out. It's in. You're shaking it about. <laughs> It's not in, is it? It's not that rubber bitch now come out. Oh no, John. Can you see? No, I can't see any hinge. Oh. Oh no. Sound good. <laughs> Let me put it in, he says. What? Oh, John. Go on. Get it back in. No doubt. Round two. Alright, Dom. You saw how easy it was to put that first one in. He's straight in. No problem. Get that in. No Get that door working. Why have I got to do the hardest job? The hardest job. <laughs> so what's the problem here, Don? What is the problem? Slide that in there. Slide that in there. You make it look easy. Just like easy, just right. <laughs> well, yeah, it does look like you might be hitting the rubber, Don. Oh, we're in. It's in. It wasn't hitting the rubber. It okay. Wasn't now then, you're going to show us how easy this front clip is. Back oh. you go, here we go. Is it in? Did you lift your lever? Hey, uh, yes. Well done, Dom, well done. radio is in and working. I've taken the dash apart previously uh, two at least at least twice to try and get the lights working and the water temperature gauge which I think is all working. Brother Dan came up and fixed all of the wiring all the lights all the electrics. Mechanically John's had to go at the engine and all that's looking good. So what else do we need John? We're ready. It's MOT time. Let's get the door working. Ah oh, door latch. Okay fine. We'll fix the sticky door latch and then hopefully fingers crossed it's time for an MOT. Hey? It's not working. What do you mean it's not working? It doesn't, it doesn't stay sharp. It was working fine. No, it wasn't. Well, you, the, the whole door's coming apart now. That looks good now, but... What's happened? It, don't, it won't latch, although it's just latched. It, it latches now. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Thanks for the trim tool, Doc. It's helping wonderfully. Oh, do you have to peel that off, John? <laughs> oh, have a rip it. Not helping, Dom. Not Dom. helping. Do we have to do this? <laughs> well, it's now nearly lunchtime, uh, and hope is dwindling on the MOT because of the MOT garage shut at lunchtime. But um, I'm going to go try and have a word with them, see what they're saying. But looking at this door latch, it's problem after problem with this thing. It's testing us. It is testing us. John has done a fantastic job of fixing that door lock. A lot more complicated than we first thought. We've lost at least another hour or so there messing around with it. Let's get it outside. See if we can go on a bit of a test drive. Yeah. Have a look at the brakes. See if the temperature gauge goes up. See what Wendy thinks of it. I think she's going to love it. Right, all aboard John.
Oh, look, oh. straight in there. Come on, this side. Come on, girl. Straight in there. <laughs> we are off. Are we in third gear? Or is that just you? What? That's it. We're in first gear. Yes, we are. Oh, yeah. We're away. Oh, look at this. The steering wheel's nearly straight. <laughs> Almost. Oh, there's reverse. Yeah, you're making it harder than it needs to be. <laughs> yeah, good girl, good girl. Do Wendy like it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir, good girl. The steering feels lovely. I should do. All new tyres. Reverse works nicely. <laughs> Oh, this is cool! It's actually getting warm now, which is nice. Stay on those tires. You need to do wipers as well, don't you? There you go. Uh? You're good, you're good. No, that's all right, go on. Put your foot on the brake. What's that? Why are you winking at me? What's that? Why is that on the front? Right, we've got some issues. Unfortunately, the MOT is definitely not happening today, sadly, because although the car runs and drives really nicely, when I hit the brakes, one of the headlights comes on, and one of the brake lights doesn't work. The fog light has stopped working. <laughs> Something's gone. So maybe there's still a mouse living in it that's chewed some more wires. Maybe we missed where the mouse was actually living. We had everything working perfectly. Something has gone wrong. But to be fair, I have had the rear lights off a couple of times whilst doing the welding. Um, and I've also had the fog light off because I took the tow bar off. But let's not blame me yet. So we're going to have a look at the back lights now and see if we can get all these working. But the MOT is going to have to sadly wait until next week. But first of all, let's see if we can actually get everything fixed first. Because also the exhaust, John is concerned. Are you worried, John, about the exhaust? Yeah, I don't think it sounds right. Joy, John's saying the exhaust sounds like it's blowing. So we're probably going to have to lie underneath it again and have a look at the exhaust. So the never ending list of broken things on the caddy. Let's have a look. We've had a good old rummage around the wires at the back. We found two quite bad earths. A couple of the wire, the, the bulb connectors were not looking great. So a bit of a general rummage and tidy up back there. Let's hope, fingers crossed, we've got everything working. Even though it was already working, I don't know what's going on, but go for it. Side lights, number plate lights, yes. Brake lights, oh, fog light, hey. Brake lights. Break again? Yeah, that's good. Electrical issues seem to be resolved. John is still concerned about the exhaust. So we're gonna jack it back up, get it up in the air, and have a look and see if we can see anything obvious. Hopefully, that should be the last thing on the list. Hello? Have you looked under it? Wouldn't it be nice to have a two post lift? If only, eh? That'd be a dream, wouldn't it? Imagine if we had one in the workshop. Good and bad news. Bad news, we didn't get the MOT that I really thought we would get today. We didn't even get a failed MOT. We didn't even make it to the MOT garage. But we have ticked off a lot of problems on the caddy um, that I had not been expecting. We had it up in the air, had a look at the exhaust. There was a couple of clamps and joints that were a bit loose. So we've tightened everything up, resealed it all, and it's sounding a lot better. So I'm sorry that we didn't get the MOT and go for that ride to Greg's that I was hoping we could do at lunchtime. But Fingers crossed, next week, we'll do that. A big thank you again to Surfshark for sponsoring this video and making all of this possible. Don't forget, go to surfshark.com forward slash domc and get an extra four months of Surfshark for an unbeatable price. Have you got Surfshark? Uh, yes, 
You will have soon. Yes. Soon. We'll sort that soon. out, John. We'll yes. sort out your internet security. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. bye, -bye.